Hello, young explorers. Today, we journey back in time to 19th century Europe. Picture a continent on the brink of change. This force was nationalism. Nationalism is the deep love for one's nation and the desire for it to be strong and independent. Imagine the excitement of belonging to something bigger than yourself. It fueled revolutions, toppled empires and redrew borders. So put on your explorer hats and let's delve into this fascinating period of history. The year is 1789. In France, a revolution is brewing. The French people, tired of inequality and oppression, rose up against the monarchy. They fought for liberty, equality and fraternity. This revolution sent shockwaves across Europe. It wasn't just about France anymore. It was about a new way of thinking. The French Revolution ignited the flames of nationalism across Europe. People saw that it was possible to overthrow old systems and fight for their own nation. The ideas of the revolution carried by Napoleon's armies spread like wildfire. Soon, people across Europe began to dream of their own nations, free from foreign rule. The French Revolution showed the world the power of a united people. It was a powerful example of what nationalism could achieve. The seeds of change had been sown and Europe would never be the same. Imagine Europe as a giant puzzle in the early 1800s. It wasn't divided into neat countries like today. Instead, it was a patchwork of empires, kingdoms and duchies. Many of these were ruled by foreign powers, leaving people yearning for self-rule. This is where the idea of liberal nationalism emerged. Liberal nationalists believed in the power of the people. They wanted governments based on constitutions and elected representatives. They championed individual rights and freedoms, like freedom of speech and assembly. Think of it as a recipe for a modern nation, a dash of liberty, a pinch of equality, and a whole lot of national pride. This desire for self-determination was a powerful force. It would soon erupt in a series of revolutions that would transform the continent Fasten your seat belts because the journey is about to get bumpy. The year 1830 marked the start of a tumultuous period in European history. Remember those sparks of nationalism ignited by the French Revolution? Well, they were about to set Europe ablaze from Paris to Brussels from Warsaw to Vienna, revolutions erupted across the continent. People, inspired by the ideals of liberty and nationalism, took to the streets. They demanded change, an end to foreign rule, and the right to govern themselves. Students, workers, and intellectuals joined forces, united by a shared desire for a better future. While not all of these revolutions were successful, they demonstrated the growing strength of nationalist sentiment. The desire for unity and self-determination had taken root. And Europe was on the cusp of a new era. Section 5. Italy rises from divided states to a unified nation. Now, let's zoom in on Italy. Imagine a land of ancient beauty, but fragmented into small, often rival, states. For centuries, Italy was a patchwork of kingdoms and duchies, often under foreign control. But the spirit of nationalism was about to change that. Enter Giuseppe Mazzini, a passionate nationalist who dreamed of a unified Italy. He along with other key figures like Count Camillo Benso di Cavour, 
and Giuseppe Garibaldi led the charge for unification. Through diplomacy, strategic alliances and even daring military campaigns, Italy finally achieved its dream of unity in 1861. Italy's unification was a triumph for nationalism. It proved that even a divided land could come together under the banner of a shared national identity. Section 6. Germany Forged. Bismarck's vision of a united Germany. Our journey continues north to the heart of Europe, where another powerful nation was about to emerge. Germany, just like Italy, Germany, in the mid-19th century, was not a unified nation, but a collection of independent states. However, a shrewd statesman named Otto von Bismarck had a vision, a unified Germany under Prussian leadership. Bismarck, known as the Iron Chancellor, was a master of real politik, a political philosophy based on pragmatism and power. He cleverly used diplomacy, military might, and nationalist sentiment to orchestrate a series of wars that ultimately led to German unification in 1871. Bismarck's success marked the rise of a new European power. Germany's unification, fueled by nationalism, would have a profound impact on the continent's balance of power in the decades to come. Section 7. Nationalism's Dark Side. The Path to Imperialism. Nationalism, while a powerful force for unity and progress, also had a darker side. As European nations grew in power and influence, they began to look beyond their borders for new opportunities, resources and markets. This marked the beginning of a new era of colonialism, driven in part by nationalist ambitions. European powers, fueled by a sense of national pride and a belief in their own superiority, embarked on a scramble for colonies in Africa, Asia and the Pacific. They justified their actions in the name of national glory, economic prosperity and even a supposed civilizing mission. The consequences of this new wave of imperialism were significant. It led to the exploitation of resources and people in colonized regions and intensified rivalries between European powers, ultimately contributing to the outbreak of World War I. Section 8. A New Europe. The Lasting Legacy of Nationalism. The rise of nationalism in 19th century Europe was a transformative force. It redrew the map of Europe, toppled empires and sparked revolutions. It led to the creation of new nation-states like Italy and Germany. But it also fueled competition and conflict. Nationalism's legacy is complex and multifaceted. It's important to remember that while it fostered a sense of unity and identity, it also contributed to rivalry, imperialism, and eventually war. As you continue your journey through history, remember to look at events from multiple perspectives and consider the complex interplay of factors that shaped our world. Section 9. Your journey through history. A call to action. Our expedition through the rise of nationalism in 19th century Europe comes to an end here. All the best for your exams. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Revision Rush.